Hello everyone, my name is Austin, and oh my god, I finally did it. I finally, finally finished my first PC build. That's right. I, fi I mean, <laughs> I, finally, I finally did it. I finally built my first ever PC from scratch. And I want to put an emphasis on that, because... I have messed with PC stuff before, like, oh, like, upgrading PCs and, like, you know, swapping parts and, like, really customizing my PC. But I've never truly built a PC from scratch. And I finally got to do it. I finally got to do it. So, here, let me show you the results. Look at that. Bio screen. We got the bio screen. And the PC... It's it's currently testing right now, right? It's currently testing right now. Uh, otherwise, yeah. Um, when, when the PC, you know, I just gotta clean the shit up. For, I gotta clean the shit up, and then, uh, yeah, uh, the PC will be in there. But for now, it's right here. Check this out. Oh, look at that! Look at that! My RTX forty seventy CPU in there. Cooler two six of RAM. It's been chillin'. Goddamn right. It's goddamn right. Alright. Peace out, everybody. <laughs> wait! Wait! Before you click off, this is Austin from the future. Uh, sorry. If you thought the video was going to end, it hasn't. Uh, but yeah. Um, my god. Building this PC was a surreal experience. Like I have, like I am aware of like PC, you know, parts and like you know, building it. You know what I mean? Like oh, like installing the GPU, installing the CPU to the motherboard, installing motherboard to the case. You know, uh, installing an M.2. You know, an MVME, uh, all that good stuff, right? And like messing around inside a PC case, right? All that stuff, but. Uh, I've never, 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 never built a PC from scratch before. I never did. And now I can proudly say that I built a PC not just from a pre-build, but from scratch. And oh my god, it, it, is, it, it is a very surreal feeling. It is a very surreal feeling. Uh, I'd say, uh, I'd say, uh, one of the, uh, one of the big things about building a PC from scratch compared to just oh basing off a pre-built cuz if cuz like oh when you're when you get a pre-built and you decide to like upgrade parts in a pre-built right uh you know you you already have like a layout right you already have a layout so oh your motherboard okay uh supports let's say AMD for example so get the next best AMD CPU and make sure to update your BIOS that way your motherboard supports your uh, AMD. Or if you can still continue to go with AMD. And also, you, you or, you know, you could be lazy and just also get the motherboard as well. Get a new motherboard and a new AMD CPU. And then, you know, whatever um, GPU you're running. Which, for me, uh, in this PC right now, I am running an RX 6600. So, yes, this is the going to be the final video where I stream and talk yeah to this camera and record in this camera uh and yeah that will be it yeah that will be it after that all the new uh recording streams will be taking place with the new pc that you just saw you know in the previous uh clip yeah and it it, it is wow i will say building it like from scratch wasn't actually all that bad like the cable management the cable management which i thought was like the hardest part uh it wasn't actually that bad and like installing it wasn't actually that bad because like i guess muscle memory like i kind of remembered but oh my god debugging it and shit is like the worst shit ever because like oh my god uh like why isn't it turning on oh it's because i have to fucking plug in the keyboard in before it can boot up BIOS for for some fucking reason, you know what I mean. I have to plug in a keyboard and mouse f during the startup, uh, the BIOS startup, and like oh, remembering to, you know, create a Windows creation tool, and I I should have like a permanent 
uh, like USB. But I always like delete like what is it? I always delete the contents the contents inside of my USB. So that way, I have to like install like a fresh Windows media creation tool and like dump it into the USB every single time. I should I should have a permanent one, but I'm too lazy. And uh, <laughs> and just like oh my god oh uh, the storage isn't fucking like there you know oh it turns out uh, it's one of these settings that like the Intel fucking rapid storage technology can't fucking read it so I have to turn it off and all that stuff and yeah it's um it, it, it's wild it's wild um that, that that part is still fucking annoying but other than that yeah building this PC has been a really great surreal experience and uh yeah I, I can see why people really dig this shit now cause like you really like if like you feel good you feel like a genius like Building a computer makes you feel like a god. Okay, now, okay, 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 okay. It's not that far, but it makes you feel useful, right? Like, oh, I'm an engineer. Like, I built a PC. You know what I mean? Even though building a PC, anybody can do. <laughs> it makes you feel like, oh, it makes you feel like Jonesy from Fortnite, where you can build anything with fucking wood and metal and all, whatever, the, whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or like Minecraft, you know, you feel like a master builder, you know, building a fucking PC. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it, it's it's kind of high. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you if uh, what is it? If you want to know the specs for the new PC, I'm running a i5 13th gen, a 4070, 32 gigs of RAM, two terabyte SSD. So we're doing that, baby. We're doing that. PC building. Am I right? Ooh. <laughs> Okay, now I'll say goodbye. Bye, everybody.